Sasha Banks was let down by the WWE. Now known as Mercedes Money, she's about to embark on a run in AEW, but under WWE, she was let down by the company, let down by wrestling media, and let down by fans who believed absolute nonsense about her. We're going to be talking the break that she took after WrestleMania 35, what was reported falsely and what actually happened there, where she was for SummerSlam 2021 when Becky Lynch took her place instead, and of course, the individual moments all of which led to Sasha Banks and Naomi early last year walking out of the WWE and now, of course, arriving at AEW as Mercedes Money. So we're going to cover a lot of ground here. I'm using a number of sources. I can see just in my list, Sports Keto, Forbes, Bleacher Report, TalkSport, TMZ, E! Online. There's a lot to cover here. But we're going to cover a variety of bases and I'm going to start with WrestleMania 35. So, the headline reads, WWE rumours another backstage incident involving Sasha Banks and Bayley from WrestleMania 35 revealed. This is the report that kicked off some serious problems. So, after earlier reports of Sasha Banks was allegedly involved in a physical altercation backstage at WrestleMania 35, the story had taken another twist. The new story from Ryan Satin alle alleges that both Banks and Bayley lay on the floor in the locker room, loudly expressing their displeasure. To follow up, uh, Gary Cassidy, the writer of this, also states that it's seemingly corroborated by WrestleVotes and brings a tweet from WrestleVotes to back that up. Says, well, damn, pal, I heard this, but also didn't want to report simply because I didn't believe it. However, if Ryan Satin heard it as well, good chance it's true. This is a situation that we know already to be false. Sasha Banks, Mercedes Money now herself, seriously disputed it, but she took his quite considerable break immediately afterwards, which led to a lot of speculation as to where she was and what she was doing. Sportskeeda later reported taking the lead from myself and Kate Side Seat, saying Sasha Banks and WWE have been in constant contact while she's been away from the company, essentially saying that she hasn't walked out, she hasn't marched out, and this is something that simply isn't true. This is going to be a recurring theme when it comes to Sasha Banks. Later, I would start working for Sportskeeda, and I was able to report Sasha Banks' WWE contract situation, essentially stating, it has been reported recently Sasha Banks has been offered a bump and new contract, but I've been told by multiple sources this is not the case. In fact, the message coming through is very clear. The Banks' time away from the company is not being considered as anything too out of the ordinary. I did go on to clarify a couple of quotes. Few people ask for time off after WrestleMania. Sasha Banks has worked extremely long and extremely hard. She's earned it. That has since, of course, been confirmed by a number of different sources. First and foremost, Sasha Banks herself. And when the wrestler, a first-hand source, comes into what was a WWE Chronicle to state these are false reports and it has seriously impacted my mental health, it's probably time to be paying attention to what they're saying. Did the media let off? No, they did not. Let's go back to it because this is where it gets a bit messy. An article from 2019 from Wrestling Inc., uh, sorry, Forbes.com from uh, Wrestling Inc.'s Alfred Kanuya states Sasha Banks lashes out against WWE a timeline. Now, if we go through this, uh, it is essentially different instances in which Sasha Banks has lashed out at WWE. On an episode of Busted Open in 2016, uh, Sasha Banks vowed to never appear on Total Divas. Uh, 2017, on the Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast, admitted to preferring NXT over Raw. Where's the lash out there? She had a good time somewhere. What's the problem? September 2017, Sasha Banks doubled down on her preference. Again, what's the problem? 2018 on the In the Corner pod in this corner podcast, Sasha Banks said the following about being underutilized in WWE. I feel like I go out there every single week and give it 110%. Most recently I talked to one of my good friends and he told me as long as you work hard, you can't be unhappy with yourself, and that's what I do every single week. Whether they want to push me or not, I'm always going to give it 110%. I'm honestly living my dream every single day, so there's not a lot I can be mad at. Again, what's the problem there? How is she lashing out? at WWE by saying whether I'm pushed or not, I'm still going to work as hard as I can. Serious question marks there. August 2018, on an episode of the currently dormant Open Late, Sasha Banks addressed legitimate heat with fellow WWE superstar Alexa Bliss. When asked if she had any desire to work with Bliss in the future, Banks responded, not really. So you're annoyed she gave you an honest answer. Serious question marks on this. But once again, this is a mark of the amount of pressure that Sasha Banks has been put on during her time away from the company. If we go into detail, April 13, 2019. This was not long after she left 
at WrestleMania 35. She took a break and this is what happened during that time. These situations really didn't change as we went into it. Sasha Banks rumours, this is from Bleacher Report. WWE star attempted to quit after WrestleMania 35 loss, again shortly afterwards. This, as I've, sta as I've already stated, I've already reported in this timeline that it is not the case that she is taking a mental health break, taking a break from WWE for a bit, and it has been confirmed by Sasha Banks. This is before that happened. But essentially, the Observer report, that being Wrestling Observer, said the boss was frustrated she and Bailey didn't have a longer title reign. While Banks' frustration is understandable to a certain extent, the boss and hug connection couldn't hold the titles forever, and WrestleMania 35 was the perfect time to give a pair such as the Iconics a star-making moment. So this is a Bleacher Report reporting on something from Wrestling Observer newsletter, but they took the quote from WrestleZone because for some reason they didn't want to go to the Wrestling Observer directly. We go now to talk sport. The boss finally responds to reports she tried to quit WWE after WrestleMania 35. This is from the 17th of May, 2019. A lot of it as regards Sasha Banks there, and if we go down into it, a fan posted... I unfortunately side with WWE in the case of Sasha Banks. Quitting because you don't want to lose is extremely selfish. As a four-time women's champion and first women's tag team champion, a lot of women put you over for you to walk out like this. Hashtag ungrateful. The boss inquired, who said that? The fan responded, he read it on the internet. The internet. Yeah, so when I say that these issues aren't just the WWE, we're literally getting fans telling Sasha Banks that she's in the wrong for something that didn't happen. Consider for a moment the amount of pressure this is putting on someone who is taking a break. She was trying to take a moment to herself after working, as she described it, at 110% for years. She tried to take a break and what happened was, while the WWE were supportive, we'll get to them not being later, fans and media absolutely were not. And it's seriously, imagine working in that environment where there are just constant headlines written about you which are entirely untrue, but everyone for some reason believes that they are. From the Sportster, Sasha Banks WWE hiatus in 2019 explained. In 2019, Sasha Banks was on top of the wrestling world. Less than two months later, that being uh, wrestling, uh, WrestleMania 35, the duo lost the gold to Iconics. Shortly after Banks abruptly disappeared, where did she go? This was in 2022, this was reported this particular article. So let's see what they've actually gone for. Rumors took over. So firstly, they tell us what the rumors were. When Sasha Banks took leave, no one knew why. Ryan Saturn reported wrestle votes backed up, a claim that Banks and Bailey were so upset about losing their titles so quickly. They were laying on the floor of the locker room and later the hotel, loudly complaining to anyone who would listen about how angry they were. 2022, three years later, they're choosing to reiterate this false report reiterate it. There were more rumours that Banks wanted to quit. Neither came to be and Banks remained employed. So, what's happening? You're saying it's going to be uh, the details. Banks tells all about why she left. Four months she returned. The true reason was never discussed until weeks later on an episode of WWE Chronicle. Banks admitted she had left because she was burnt out with a hectic schedule and to take care of her mental health. She asked for a break. I found myself, she told Bleacher Report in 2020. For so long I was playing Sasha Banks and I forgot who Mercedes was. This immediately should give credence to the fact that she is now Mercedes Money. These were the moments, the formative moments, when she was deciding to leave the WWE, based on what she's saying here. I forgot that Mercedes created Sasha Banks and Mercedes had that dream of becoming a wrestler and I lost that. I took that time to refine my love and refine my passion and refine what I wanted in life and what I wanted to be and what I aspired to be because I kept living in my past and not thinking about my future. Sasha Banks confirming that she took a break. This, of course, is nowhere close to the end of the drama that was put on Mercedes' shoulders. So, Sasha Banks asked why she pulled out of WWE SummerSlam 2021. This is from Wrestling Inc. Sasha Banks asked why she pulled out. So, 
In a recent interview with New York Post, SmackDown superstar Sasha Banks was asked why she skipped this year's SummerSlam. There's no reason, Banks responded. I'm not telling you anything. You're not Oprah. You're not the WWE Network. You're not getting me views. New York Post probably is getting you views, but I get what she's saying. I'm not telling you my secrets. You can read my book. You can read my documentary when I want to speak about it. Thank you very much. That naturally went everywhere. To be clear, the story on this one was that Sasha Banks was supposed to be facing Bianca Belair in a rematch of their WrestleMania um, battle in SummerSlam 2021, right in the middle of the card. Instead, Sasha Banks wasn't in attendance for the Go Home show on SmackDown, and then Becky Lynch returned. I'm gonna put myself over slightly here. If you're not a subscriber, now's the time to do so and hit like on the video because I reported that Becky Lynch would be returning the day before she did, and I reported that Sasha Banks had not been booked for SmackDown for the Go Home Show. I was called a liar by two prominent wrestling outlets, but I will go into evidence of that fact. Firstly, Becky Lynch did report directly in conversation with TalkSport that she was drafted in because the WWE knew more than a week in advance that Sasha Banks would not be there. And also there is a report from the Wrestling Observer confirming it. We go back to Sports Kida now. Backstage details behind Sasha Banks missing WWE SummerSlam. Quite a bit here. According to Mike Johnson, a Peter Insider, Sasha Banks never made it to Las Vegas. There are pictures of her in Las Vegas on her Twitter account, so I would question that one. She also missed out on several live events due to unforeseen circumstances. Her absence is not injury related, but it's still not clear what the actual reason might be. We go a little bit further to where they say about her knowing, uh, well, WWE knowing in advance. According to Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWE knew eight days in advance that the boss wasn't going to compete at SummerSlam, but she was still advertised for it. Becky Lynch was later, later revealed to be her replacement. To quote Meltzer, it happened because Sasha Banks wasn't going to be ready and they felt that they needed something to quell the audience. They've known for eight days that Sasha Banks wasn't going to be there, which was reported by myself. But it does mean that the WWE didn't exactly go in blind on this. But once again, it's a moment in which the fans turned on Sasha Banks. And we did see a whole lot of reporting and a whole lot of questions about where is Sasha, where is Sasha. For my part, when I reached out, I was told in no uncertain terms, it's none of your business. Which eventually you have to respect. We then get to Sasha Banks actually leaving the WWE. We've gone through all the build up to it, all the different reasons that she may have felt aggrieved and all the different reasons that she was looking at Mercedes money, not Sasha Banks in those moments. And this is where mainstream media gets involved. And I have to ask the question, should they have done so? This is Sports Illustrated. Sasha Banks and Naomi leave WWE Raw mid-show from May 17th, 2022. Peter Insider first reported the news of Banks and Naomi, the current WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, walking out on Monday's taping in Norfolk, Virginia. In a statement obtained by Fightful's Sean Ross Sapp, WWE noted the pair left their title belts behind prior to leaving and confirmed their exit was not part of an angle. To quote, when Sasha Banks and Naomi arrived at the arena this afternoon, they were informed of their participation in the main event of tonight's Monday Night Raw. During the broadcast, they walked into WWE Head of Talent Relations John Laurinaitis' office with their suitcases in hand, placed their Tag Team Championship belts on his desk and walked out. They claimed they weren't respected enough as Tag Team Champions, and even though they had eight hours to rehearse and construct their match, they claimed they were uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents, even though they'd had matches with those individuals in the past with no consequence. Monday Night Raw is a scripted live TV show whose characters are expected to perform the requirements of their contract. We regret we were unable to deliver as advertised tonight's main event. Sasha Banks and Naomi did walk out on that evening and did not return to the WWE. There was plenty more conversation as to whether they would return and I've been keeping at the forefront of reporting on that but it at no point seemed likely that we would see Sasha Banks and Naomi return. There were a number of reports from discredited sources such as Zero News stating that Sasha Banks and Naomi were backstage and going to be appearing in the main event and then they didn't because they ran out of time. None of this was looking likely. None of this actually happened. Sasha Banks and Naomi did not return, though they were, pardon me, in contact with the WWE afterwards, communicating as to what could bring them back and what absolutely in no circumstances would do so. The plan for the WWE was for the tag team champions to fight in losing efforts, the Raw and SmackDown women's champions respectively, essentially making it very clear that the tag championships were not quite as good 
as the actual main championships. The tag championships have been pretty much cursed ever since, and it seems like this was the moment at which that all went south. I should also mention that Sasha Banks was originally due to be challenging Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania that year, WrestleMania 38. That honour instead went to Ronda Rousey, who returned in January. Charlotte Flair had been trying to make that match happen and trying to bring Ronda Rousey back, and she got her wish. Vulture. Vulture.com. Again, mainstream media diving in. May 24th, 2022. Why did Sasha Banks and Naomi walk out on WWE? So firstly, they are reading out the statement from WWE. So taking the WWE side of events, I would imagine they've reached out to Sasha and Naomi. If they haven't, I have questions. What I would like to point out is WWE Head of Talent Relations, John Laurinaitis, just to be clear, is not there anymore. He has long since left the company. Started during Monday Night Raw when colour commentator Corey Graves announced the pair had unprofessionally left the arena. This is a narrative being created. We've seen from what was reported during the 2019 break that there is already in some parts of media an unfavourable view of Sasha Banks based on her and Bailey essentially losing their championships and Sasha taking some time off. This is WWE leaning into that, accusing them of unprofessional behaviour and clear in that statement stating that, oh, well, they had no issue before, so why is there an issue now? This is the narrative being set that Sasha Banks and, ba and, sorry, Sasha Banks and Naomi were ungrateful, which has carried over into some fans believing that, even though there is no evidence to support it. TMZ, that bastion of journalism, WWE Sasha Banks and Naomi walk out of Monday Night Raw dot 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 over creative issues. That dot 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 is doing, is doing a lot of work. Once again, this is TMZ reporting, who rarely report on wrestling, reading out the statement from WWE. Story developing. Nothing further. At no point have they updated this story. So it didn't develop, did it? It just stopped there. I have questions. E Online. WWE addresses Naomi and Sasha Banks' shocking absence from match. Once again, mainstream media reading out the WWE statement with no comment from Mercedes or Trinity. Nay, Trinity Foul. Hmm. The statement concluded, we regret we were unable to deliver as advertised tonight's main event. Well, WWE tried, didn't they? Didn't WWE try really hard? This is mainstream media working against two individuals. I don't know whether they were asked to, certainly. I wouldn't even begin to speculate. But it's unusual to see Vulture, TMZ, E! Online commenting on this sort of thing. We then go to Screen Rant. Is anyone aware of Screen Rant? Is WWE right? Has Sasha Banks actually peaked as a wrestling star? December 17th, 2022. The first thing I have to ask is, did they ever say that that has happened? No. Dave Meltzer explained why talks between Banks and WWE broke down. According to him, the world's biggest wrestling promotion doesn't believe Banks' star power was on the same level as someone like Becky Lynch or Ronda Rousey. He added that WWE thinks Venado has already peaked as a star and they allegedly don't see her as someone who could be on top for the next half decade. This is Screen Rant asking the question, has Sasha Banks peaked? Is WWE right? Even though at no point did WWE say that. Then we get to what actually happened. This is from TalkSport and it is based on Wrestling Inc's Raj Giri who reported, this was written in 16th of June 2022, that Sasha Banks had been released from the company. She went on to not make any appearances until January, suggesting that she had not been released from the company. There has not been any evidence to support this, but there has also been a lack of credible evidence to deny this is what I will say there. I'm hearing Sasha Banks has been released. I don't know if it's if she's requested it or if it was on WWE's end, Rajgiri tweeted. This is followed up by Wrestling Inc. New details on Sasha Banks' reported exit from WWE. 
It reportedly has not been boss time in WWE for quite a while. According to Fightful Select, which is paywalled, Sasha Banks negotiated an exit from WWE months ago, noting that the timeline would corroborate tweets from Wrestling Inc.'s Raj Giri. Once again, there has been no confirmation in this and a lack of credible confirmation against this. The fact that she did not actually start wrestling or making any appearances until January is telling for me. The fact that this is coming out in December 15th, a full five months after the tweets from Raj Giri, suggests to me that this was intentionally shared at the right time. That is my interpretation of it. We then go back to mainstream media. The New York Post, December 13th, 2022, around the same time as that Fightful Select report. Sasha Banks potentially being done with WWE feels like it's for the best. If Sasha Banks is truly done with WWE, it's likely for the best. It is where all signs point to now, though it could probably change in a nanosecond if Triple H and Co swoop in with the right offer. But there has been a recent report from Peter Insider that Banks, whose real name is Mercedes Bernardo, will be appearing at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom event on January 4th. Dave Meltzer stated on Wrestling Observer she is done with WWE as of now. Note that Dave Meltzer is saying as of now, not as of June. So that is what happened. That was the next step for Sasha Banks, and that is the evolution of this story. To be clear, I've been at the forefront of reporting on this. I'm very proud of what we've been able to put together. There were lots of negotiations or attempted negotiations with Triple H and indeed with Stephanie McMahon for a return for Sasha Banks and Naomi. They did fall on deaf ears, but there was constant communication between them. There was more confidence that Naomi would come back to WWE. That also has not played out, largely due to her now appearing on Impact. Meanwhile, for Sasha Banks's point, she is going by Mercedes Money. She did wrestle in New Japan. She unfortunately is currently injured, but should be debuting on AEW shortly. As I've already reported, she is expected to sign a new deal after her appearance at All In. She was originally going to be appearing at uh, Forbidden Door if she hadn't been injured with the New Japan Strong Women's Championship. That, unfortunately, was not to be. There is more to say on this one. March 25th, 2023, WWE reportedly opened a Sasha Banks return under one condition. According to Wrestling News. Sorry, no, according to Wrestling Observer Newsletter, they've taken the quote from Wrestling News. Co. The door for money to return to WWE is open if she's willing to give up asking for certain points that she wanted when he talks to WWE while away from the company and before she got her release. That is confirmation of my report that there was constant communication and that they were trying to hash out a deal to have Sasha Banks return to the WWE. I'm interested to see what the certain points are because that feels like a bit of a non-report. I'll say that. Feels like a bit of a non-report. Unfortunately, even after having left the WWE, there is still, from wrestling media, from fans, now from WWE, this clear indication that Sasha Banks is the villain of the piece. From Give Me Sport, Louis Dangor, who is no longer affiliated with Give Me Sport, apparently, though there are rumours that he has been writing under a pen name, WWE, which it isn't WWE related in any way. Sasha Banks, not Mercedes Money, botched first move back at New Japan debut. Sasha Banks made her debut today, confirming she isn't going to be returning to the WWE. What happened? As noted, Banks is now going by Mercedes Money. That's supposed to be Money. As well as a new name, she also debuted a new finishing move. The move looked like it was supposed to be a DDT, but unfortunately for Money and Kairi, it was completely botched. And as you can see below, produced a pretty awkward result. I don't feel like we're going to get to a point where Sasha Banks actually has a fair shake at this and a fair chance at actually showing what she can do where she'll escape being the villain of the piece. March 19th, 2023, Bleacher Report. Mercedes Money addresses rumours of WWE Exodus Sasha Banks. Nobody knows the story. One person knows the story, and it is Mercedes Money. To quote, as I'm growing in my career, I've been in the WWE for almost 10 years. I had to have a change, had to feel something different in my heart and my soul. I had to go after a whole new dream and a whole new chapter and a whole new destiny for me. And this is what I wanted for me. And this is what I wanted to make happen for me. That's it. This is what I'm going for. This is my dream. Unfortunately, the narrative has been set. And with advancements in AI, when you put into Google the simple phrase, Sasha Banks leaves WWE, what you get is AI pulled directly from a sports Kida report 
which says, one of the most recent reports suggested that Sasha Banks left WWE because of her salary. It was reported that she didn't return to the Stanford-based promotion because she asked for a high price to renew her contract, with the numbers discussed being the same as Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. I searched for Sasha Banks leaves WWE. Google told me she wanted more money, which, to put it simply, isn't true. There's been a lot of detail in this video. I will refer you to my previous CM Punk video and more details as regards my reporting on Becky Lynch and Mercedes Money. I'll put them uh, in, the, uh, in the video right now so you can click on those. Check out more from it, subscribe, be sure to hit like. I've been Tom Collihue and thank you for watching.